up a prophetic portal in this place. God, that I might speak out the fire of your holy hill. Father, I pray to God that you sit John Marshall down. And I pray, God, that you would stand up in this place in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, everybody who came to sit on the service, we thank God for them, too. God, pray, God, that you would speak in their lives and that you would do something supernatural for them. In the name of Jesus, God, every stony heart, I pray, God, that you're going to do something for them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, anoint me afresh. Anoint me afresh. Anoint me afresh. And it is so in Jesus' name. Come on and clap your hands and say amen. Uh, I follow directions well. I'm um, going to do the right in the 15th chapter. I follow directions well. Um, when Bishop called me, he said, um, um, we need to do part two. I said, let me pray first. I said, let me uh, seek the face of God because I want to make sure I'm not just preaching to preach. I want to make sure I have something to say. Um, and I, I told him, I said, give me 24 hours. I said, let me turn my plate down. Let me get in my room. Let me put, put on my YouTube. Let me put on my worship music. I said, God, before I accept this thing, I want to know that you're in it because I don't want to go and make a fool of myself. And so I said, God, I said, you speak to me. So about six o'clock, I believe Wednesday morning, the Lord gave me the clearance. And I said, I called at seven o'clock in the morning. If he wasn't, the people was about to get up. I said, all right, God said it's all right. And so I put a demand on heaven tonight that he would speak to me. Deuteronomy 15, one, two, and three. Um, um, Deuteronomy 15, one, two, and three. Um, and I saw that church coming in the back and they have victory on their shirts. Um, and, and all year long, since December of last year, I think our anniversary theme was, this is the year of favor uh, and victory. And so when I saw their shirts, I said, come on, Holy Ghost, somebody got something. Um, uh, 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 come on, wake up in here, because somebody got something. Oh, uh, my God. At the end of every seven years, there shall be a release. At the end of every seven years, there shall be a release. And this is the form of release. Every creditor who has lent anything to his neighbor shall release it. And he shall not require his neighbor or his brother to pay it back, and he shall call it the Lord's release. Quiet in, but you should give up your claim to what is owed by your brother, except when you may be no, uh, no poor among you. And the Lord will greatly bless you in the land in which the Lord your God is giving you to possess an inheritance. Yes. Only if you carefully obey the voice of the Lord your God Only. to observe or care, or to care all his commandments that I command to you, for the Lord your God will bless you just as he promised. You the many nations, but shall not borrow. You shall reign over many nations, yes. um, but they shall not have reign uh -huh. over you. Um, do me a favor before you sit down. Everybody say this for me. Say, this is the Lord's release. Yes. The Lord's release. The Lord's release. I, I, I'm not going to do this. The Lord's release. You yes, in the presence of the Lord. The Lord's release. Um, and do me another favor. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, guarantee victory. Guaranteed victory. Guaranteed victory. Tell the people, say, I got guaranteed victory. It's the year 2017. It's the year 2017. And the year that 2017 means victory in itself. And so the mere fact that I'm in the year 2017, it means guaranteed victory. Somebody say, guaranteed victory. Guaranteed victory. All right, I'm trying to set up. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead and set up, sir. I don't want the mic to keep going out. All right, um, um, Father, do this for me. Now, between Malachi and Matthew, um, there is a silence of more than 400 years. Now, historians um, argue um, whether this silence was 400 or 435 years, but we understand between Malachi and Matthew, heaven is silent. We, we understand that heaven um, emphatically has nothing to say. The Bible says that um, because of the disobedient of man, the Bible says that God was quiet. And so, um, between Malachi and Matthew, before we get the word, or before we get um, in the beginning was the word, or we get unto you, uh, a son will be born, and his name shall be Jesus. Well, there is silence. Everybody say silence. 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 Um, that heaven has nothing to say, slaves. It, it is quiet. It, 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 it has nothing to say. And so now man finds himself at a point where he has to hold on until the last word of God. There, there is this point in their life where they have to hold on to what God says. Said last. Uh, a man has to hold 
on until the last prophetic word or the last prophet that spoke out of his mouth what God would do. Now, not only is the earth silent, but the Bible says that the heavens are shut up. There, there is no release. There is no dew. There is no mourning. There is no joy. There is no rejoicing because heaven is, is shut up. So, believer, on this Friday night, you put on your nice clothes. I got a question for you. Huh? What do you do when you're trying to hold on to what God said last? Huh? Oh, my God. Heaven is shut up. Heaven is silent. Huh? Heaven ain't got nothing to say. And here I am. Huh? I'm trying to hold on to what God said last. Huh? I find myself in this cosmicism because uh, I know I know the voice of God. Huh? Oh my God, I know when God speaks to me. I know when God gives me a warning. Huh? There were times, Joe Malone, I was going to do something. Huh? And the Lord said, I'll let you get away with it the last time. But this time, I need you to hold your peace. Huh? Because you're not going to get good results like you did the last time. Huh? And so now, here I find myself. Huh? Why y'all looking at me like I'm an idiot? Huh? I find on to what God said last. Uh, the Bible says in the book of 2 Samuel. Uh, oh, I like saying Samuel like that. Uh, the Bible says in the book of 2 Samuel. Uh, um, there is a man by the name of Saul. Uh, the Bible says now Saul is anointed to be king of Israel. Uh, the Bible says now that he's the king of Israel. The Bible says uh, um, he is in a treaty with some other countries. Uh, the Bible says that he has a word over his life. He says you have to uh, protect those Gibeonites. Huh? He says you cannot harm those people. Huh? Um, the Bible says the, the word of the Lord came to Saul. Huh? He says when you go down into that foreign land huh? he said I want you to kill everything. Oh my God. Huh? Bible says I want you to kill everything. Huh? Kill the women, the children, the calves, the, the monkeys, the dogs, the, the lions and the tigers and the bears. Just kill everything. Huh? But the Bible says that Saul went down into a foreign land. Huh? And when he got down there, huh? Paul says, oh, Saul said, no, nah, I see these women we can take back to Israel. Huh? Uh, Paul, uh, he says, I see these, these cattle that we can uh, take back to Israel. Huh? And so the Bible says that Saul calls, uh, oh my God, that his nation to be cursed. Huh? And the Bible says for three years there was no rain. Huh? Oh my God. Now the anointing, huh? the anointing was on Saul for a season. Huh? And you better be careful who you follow behind huh? because they'll be operating in the anointing from last season huh? and God is doing something else huh? they'll be prophesying based on last season huh? and God will be saying something else huh? they'll be preaching somebody else's messages huh? and God done took a right turn huh? a left and another right huh? and the Bible said that the anointed lifted off the soul huh? Bible said God had to get him out the seat huh? and oh my God so the anointed can return back to Israel Huh? Bible says that just like this David comes into office huh? And when he gets into office huh? David says why is there no rain huh? Well we can't really say that About President Barack huh? But leaving the Bush era huh? Coming into the Obama area huh? We're in a recession huh? Oh my God it ain't no job huh? And so Bush came to the White House huh? And said what in the hell did I get myself into huh? Oh my God huh? And the Bible says the word of the Lord said huh? It was because Saul disobey God. Huh? And so David said, what am I going to do? Huh? So the Bible says he called the neighboring city. Huh? Oh my God, and when he called them, huh? the Bible said we don't want no silver, no gold. Huh? But we want the blood. Huh? We want the blood of Saul's son. Huh? But the Bible says he spared some. Huh? And he got a girl's child. Huh? The two boys named Rizba, huh? the daughter of Ai. The huh? Bible says he got the, the women's children. Huh? And the Bible said not yet. Huh? He told him, said you gotta die. Huh? Oh my God, so the, uh, the so the heavens can be opened up. Huh? Can I tell some of y'all this? Huh? Why y'all looking at me like I'm stupid? Huh? Good thing I preach in the church with no drum and no organ for a long time. Huh? Oh my God. Huh? Bible said it just like this. Huh? He said until there's blood, huh? until there's a sacrifice, huh? heaven is gonna stay shut up. Huh? And I know you're a professional churchman. Huh? I know you know how to serve. This is going to go, huh? But there's a sacrifice, huh? That he's calling for your life, huh? There's a sacrifice, huh? That he's asking for you, huh? Present your body, huh? A living sacrifice, huh? Holy, huh? And acceptable, huh? Unto God, huh? 
much as your reasonable service. You got to understand if you want the heavens to open up, you just can't run 